Hello there, welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another fragrance review. Today I have a fragrance which is, you can say, a summer slash a barbershop kind of a fragrance and I'm talking about the Oplentia Flame from the house of Paris Corner. It's part of their Emir series and it's a alt of a very popular fragrance and we're going to talk about this particular fragrance, its scent profile projection and should you kind of, you know, get this particular fragrance at all, right? All about this in this particular video. So, but before we go ahead further, if you like fragrance related content, then do subscribe and hit the notifications icon because on this particular channel, you almost get three to four videos a week, probably being Indian houses, Middle Eastern houses and designer houses as well. You're watching the Perfume Experience. My name is Rodney. Let's get going right after this intro. All right, so welcome back. So like I said, this is the Oplentia Flame from the House of Paris Corner and it comes in this kind of a red and silver kind of a box, which is pretty very basic and it's not a great box because if you can see there's a damage in transit that happened because the cap of this bottle is very pointy and because of which I think, you know, uh, it needs a little bit more uh, packing, but then uh, you can't really help it. No matter how good the packing is, you will still, uh, you know, have some kind of a damage because this is a paper box. So let's keep this aside. So it's not a great box, but the bottle itself looks very nice. From the House of Paris Corner, this is as part of their Emir series. This is Oplentia Flame, okay? So it's a very nice, good-looking, matte finish, red color, shiny red bottle with a plasticky cap, a little heavy cap. Though it is plasticky, but it uh, feels like metal, quite a, a good amount of hefty weight to it. And the bottle also feels very snug in the hand, looks very nice. I think there are two uh, fragrances in this series. This is one of them, and there is also the Imperial as well which is also another old of uh, another popular fragrance but nonetheless we'll talk about this particular fragrance and luckily I also have a OG sample of it to compare and tell you how good it is or how bad it is all of that right so let's do a quick spray okay and uh, it sprays pretty well it's pretty nice and in fact if you like barbershop fragrances if you like old school kind of fragrances you will actually kind of you know fall in love with the first sniff that you get okay uh, that is something that i can tell you it's very very enticing that way very nice in terms of the way it kind of smells it brings a lot of good freshness a lot of good uh, energy to you and then you will feel really really good right so what do you get you get a lot of good element of citrusy opening okay you get slight hints of mint you sli get slight hints of uh, freshness from that you uh, get a little bit of the woody vibe and in the middle there are a little bit of floral notes that you kind of get and in the base there is wetty were musk amber and in the heart there is of course a liquor note as well but that's uh, you know that's aside uh, keep that story aside what you get is a good amount of citrusy freshness meat bergamot beet uh, you know lemon and you know that kind of opening along with a little bit of a grapefruit uh, a good amount of peppermint a good amount of spicy element Element, that is something that you get very very nice in a way to kind of consider is you can think about Au Sauvage as a note profile or a, you know dear Au Sauvage as a way of reference for this particular fragrance because the opening is slightly that way you kind of get a very good opening very punchy very nice opening in the uh, you know instance that you put on and you kind of feel very happy about it you will think it's pretty pretty loud as well in the middle, there is of course a little bit of that uh, powdery elements like lavender. You have some uh, allspice, uh, which is generally used in making cakes to give you that spicy element that you want in the cake, which is a mixture of cinnamon, or, you know, cardamom, nutmeg and all of that. So allspice kind of thing. And then you also have some amount of rose, you have some orris butter, but then those things are not something that you will feel very much, but you do get the good amount of spiciness that's there on this particular fragrance. And of course, at the bottom, like I said, you do have vetiver, you have musk and you have ambry element, but you also have a nice woody element that you kind of like. Now, uh, for a lot of people, this particular fragrance will also remind you of an old school uh, barbershop fragrance uh, called the Old Spice, right? It will kind of, you know, resonate with you slightly. In fact, the moment you smell it, you will kind of, you know, realize or get hints of that particular fragrance, right? So on the whole, in terms of the scent profile, the story is pretty good, okay? Now, the one element that this particular fragrance misses, I feel, is the uh, boozy part, okay? So there's a boozy element which is absent, which is kind of, you know, missing on this particular fragrance. But then the peppermint opening is also pretty nice. Not great, but nice. But on the whole, the opening of this particular fragrance is good. And that lasts for about 30 to 40 minutes time, okay? Okay. 
now after that the story changes because the fragrance you really expect this to be really really good but then after that it starts going downhill and in about uh, two to three hours it's completely off you uh, you know you, no matter how many sprays you do you don't really uh, get to smell this fragrance beyond the two and a half three hour mark but the first 40 minutes to one one hour 15 minutes you kind of like it very much it smells very nice it like i said you it's so loud that you it almost feels that you know it's going to last for a long time but unfortunately it does not it's like a fairy tale coming to an end with a you know very sad ending okay not a good ending not a sad but a sad ending so scent profile is good but the performance is just average at best you can say right now what is this an alt of that's the most important part of this particular fragrance because this is an alt of a very popular creed fragrance called as the viking okay now that's also i think a popular fragrance for virat kohli as well so luckily i do have an original decant of it and i have had this for some time and i've always been looking for a middle eastern house clone of the viking but unfortunately there aren't indian houses there are a couple of of this but then uh, you know I don't have uh, all of them I do did have one of them but then you know I have not really liked it a lot um, and um, there is one from EM5 apparently which is supposed to be good but then I have not really tried it that was uh, also not available when I tried to get that right but nonetheless from a Middle Eastern house this is the only one there is uh, which is an alt of the Viking okay now the Creed Viking in terms of the OG so how does this particular fragrance fare okay now in the OG when you put this on the OG is very very nice because of of a one particular note which makes this particular fragrance very interestingly good the opening part of this particular fragrance where you have a peppermint uh, note on this the peppermint note is very sweet uh, you know slightly sweet and lot of freshness i mean amazingly good freshness and that peppermint note is blended very well with a liquor note called as absinthe now absinthe is a liquor that's uh, made in france and that particular uh, you know liquor also i think has got some green herbaceous element and that makes this particular uh, liquor go very very well with this particular fragrance so you get a nice boozy opening but you can think about a summer kind of a fragrance or a barbershop kind of a fragrance with a liquor or a boozy note to it which makes this fragrance very interesting okay now that note the peppermint note along with the citrusy element along with the spices that is there and the vetiver and musk makes viking one of the most loved fragrances and the fragrance costs about 30000 rupees plus in the indian market and it's a very popular fragrance among creed lovers okay especially after the aventus after milisame imperial silver mountain water creed is definitely one of the fragrances which is up there and it's very very good unfortunately the performance there is also not that great so what i felt is uh, at least the good thing is it lasts for about one and a half hours to two hours it projects very very well during that one to one and a half hour mark but after about three hours mark this is also very very soft on the skin okay so it's not a very great story there but when it comes to this this particular fragrance lasts only about 40 minutes to 45 minutes after that it starts to go softer while this is still smellable sniffable you do get uh, you know skin close performance on this even at the three hour three and a half hour mark this is nowhere to be seen after one one and a half hours to two hours okay so after the two two and a half hour three hour mark i don't get any performance on this at all but maybe that might change over long period of maceration but i'm not really sure but generally fragrances do tend to get better over a period of time probably you can't really expect a lot of great performance but then i would say that three and a half hour to four hour mark is something that you will get okay now does this make for a good clone yes in the sense to say that when you first sniff the fragrance you will kind of you know like it a lot because it's very nicely done though it misses a lot on that uh, refreshingly nice peppermint uh, fragrance and the boozy element the uh, refreshment uh, or the peppermint note here is lightly lower in this particular fragrance the boozy note definitely i don't get it becomes more woody and more spicy and more powdery that way whereas this is a lot more citrusy lot more minty lot more boozy and uh, it's got a class in its own and that makes uh, you know viking one great fragrance to have i wish there were more better clones of this and we could definitely enjoy this but at the moment i could only find this so if you do want to consider getting this you can get it because this is about 1005 no this is about 1800 uh, 2900 rupees for the 100 ml edp concentration while the og like i said cost more close to 30000 rupees plus so from that point of view yes it's okay to consider this especially if you like to layer it with this because after about 20 minutes time when you have both in your uh, 
both with you you don't really find a lot of difference okay you can't really find a lot of difference in the air after the first 20 minutes time but the first 20 to 30 minutes time the viking just kills it it's superb in its scent profile and it's one of the sought after fragrances and you i've been wanting to get a good alt of it for a long time right it's a really nice fragrance especially that touch that you get of that old spice of you know uh, aftershave or the barbershop fragrance but with a little bit of the boozy part to it and a nice amount of peppermint freshness like a minty freshness that you get is something that is really really nice in a fragrance to look for especially for summer and everyday use okay now we do have this as part of decan so in case you want to try this particular fragrance before you do a blind buy you can definitely try it i did not go nose blind with this particular fragrance it's just that i tried it on my apparel multiple number of times and the performance is the only weak point of this fragrance but the fragrance scent profile is very good it smells nice in the air it even feels uh, you know very loud like i said and it also makes you feel happy when you put this on so that feeling is nice and i think i should give points to that but the packing is absolutely poor and uh, the bottle is pretty decent not bad at all at a price point of about 1800 rupees it's okay to consider getting this especially if you want to uh, understand what the profile of viking as a fragrance is and i don't think so any alts indian or middle eastern will be able to replicate the boozy peppermint freshness that's there in the og i don't think so. that's just going to be possible but other than that yeah it's a pretty decent fragrance to consider if you like viking or if you like a decent barbershop fragrance which has got a good amount of boozy element like absinthe along with a little bit of woody element and freshness although on this one you don't get the boozy part but the spicy element the citrusy element the earthiness that's there that is something that you will get as long as you like a scent profile and you don't really care for performance and you don't mind uh, you know putting this on or respraying this every three hours or every two and a half three hours time then you can definitely consider getting this this is the opentia a uh, flame from the house of paris corner as part of the emir series an alternate of the popular creed viking right so if you like the kind of video that i bring and the content that i bring please hit the like button subscribe and share we are going to get more such videos about popular fragrances reviewing is part of our nature and we are going to review good fragrances or bad fragrances all put together uh, so that you make a informed decision before you buy such fragrances and don't make blind buys that can go wrong so i will do that on your behalf you just by the we can still such time that we exhaust this and we can get a new fragrance right so you're watching the perfume experience my name is rodney until another time take care bye now